Hello there, people of the world. This is take three. It is Wednesday, August 17th. First, I didn't know the date. Then I got the date, and then I forgot the date. And now I have the date. Um, I have been neglecting my friends. I sent a video to my friend Amy's phone to tell her I've been neglecting people. I've been super busy um, with work, and it's been hot. And so I'm just drained when I get home. So I'm going to do a video on, put on my YouTube page to check and let everybody know that I'm alive and well and um, nothing exciting going on in my world. Tostitos, thin and crispy. Have you ever had these before? They're two bags for six bucks. I usually buy two bags, but the funny thing is, I. Um, when I went to Vons this week, I had my unicycle and I had my backpack to carry my grocery so and it was funny because I bought too much stuff, I always do, and I had stuffed everything down into the backpack and the very last thing, the Tostitos maybe fit like the top of the backpack, but the whole bag stuck out while I'm riding my unicycle home. It's either a guitar, if I was a guitar player, or a bag of chips because I'm a chip eater. Um, tonight's dinner is going to be ground leftover taco meat turned into nachos I was kind of like do I want to have tacos again because I, I eat everything on a tortilla and I'm not complaining or do I want to make nachos since I bought these chips and these chips have the perfect amount of salt in them for me um, I have no lettuce I ate a s I ate all my lettuce last night I had burgers I think and you know tacos and burgers they need lettuce for me. That's when I can eat a half a head of even iceberg lettuce. Cut that head in half and then just put it on my burger and I'll be happy. Um, so there's no lettuce, so I'm going to make nachos. And I don't know if that's enough chips. I always feel like there's not enough chips and then I start eating them and it's too many chips. So um, I rode to Balboa Park tonight on my ride. I had to make, run a couple errands. And on my ride, since I had, it was, I was still warm and I had my tank top on, um, I figured I would go down this one road that I hadn't been down before, and I've got a video for that. So let me show you that video right here. So Balboa Park, where the grass is, is up this hill. There's a car just went by there, my finger's in the way. There's a little ramp. Let me zoom in here. See that railing? That railing comes off. The 163, I believe, and goes up to Quint Street, where it takes you right in the middle of the park. I'm almost certain of that. Yes, I'm positive now. So it's Quint Street exit. Um, but I have never come across this bridge. There's another one that I film on that goes from the park over to the Boys and Girls Club. I have never come down here. For those that live in San Diego, this is the south side going into downtown, and over here is the north. That car that's exiting right there is getting off at Richmond Street. And going up this road turns into Richmond Street. And then you can go right to go to the zoo or straight to go to Hillcrest. So it's a big hill all the way up to the stop sign. And I, I used to walk with my friend Mitzi through the park. And we'd do the trails so I know about those. But we never came to this bridge. And it's kind of alone. I definitely wouldn't walk down here at night, but the reason why I wanted to film is because skateboarders have taken this over. This, these are skate ramps that they have poured cement, probably like plaster of Paris, and they bring in like, look at this stuff so they can do their skateboarding. How cool. There's nobody here though. It would have been nice to have some kids here skateboarding to film them, but I mean, they've got the whole dealio. So, and it, there's a fence. There's actually a lady walking over there. Hold on for zooming. There she is. There's a hole in that fence right there. You see it? So it doesn't appear like you should be down here, but I don't think anybody's going to come cause any trouble. And I already know where that's going to go, and I actually want to go through the Prado, so I'm going to continue... Since I have an electric bike, I'm going to go back up that hill. It's like a half mile uphill. And then turn and go through the zoo. See ya. 
Welcome back from the video of the bridge. It's pretty cool. I'll actually walk that because I can go over the Boy Scout trail over that bridge to the Boy Scout and then walk down what is Richmond Street. Nobody drives down there. There's really, there's nothing down there except that vacant bridge. It's almost like a ghost town. Um, so I can do that walk. And I think it'll be interesting only in the day because it's kind of sketchy right down on that bridge. And it's really, there are some sketchy areas in Melville Park that I avoid. That would be one of them, but alert. That's it. Because there were other people, two ladies you saw walking came down. I also went um, uh, went through this one building that I've never been in, in Balboa Park, through the Prado, because I usually don't go into buildings. I'm like, let's see if I can get another video. So here's this one for you. The Lily Pond in Balboa Park is right there, the end of it, by the AV um, atrium thing and there are people out here enjoying themselves giggling quiet for the most part plenty of space people on blankets people on bikes people with dogs and people with pizza how is that? Looks pretty peaceful, huh? Pizza on the lawn. Pizza at the Prado. That's the way to do it. By the way, the cat's here. Somebody say, asked me about my cat. It's not my cat. The cat owns me. She lives in the canyon for the most part. She just comes here to eat and clean herself. And sometimes sleep. Sometimes she stays here in the day. Um, what else? What other video did I have for you? Or is that it? I think that was it. Oh, here's a picture of the cat. There. She's sitting on top of that um, mirrored thing. <laughs> and that's it for me. So, dinner is about ready to be served. I haven't even turned on the broiler thing yet. I'm cooking it underneath the oven in that thing that gets hot. And um, hope everything's going well with everybody in the world. And I'm not neglecting you. I'm just kind of neglecting you. <laughs> See ya. Jazz hands.